circuit board farm in Dockwall and the animal abuse that was going on inside. And while they were doing so, they were able to rescue two dying piglets. And for that act of kindness, they are being prosecuted and they face jail time. Prison time. Years right? in prison. Yes. Years in prison. And Circle 4 Farms is owned by Smithfield Foods, which is itself owned by WH Group, which is the largest pork producer in the entire world. So they're up against a giant. But that's okay as long as we can bring attention through this trial to this horrible industry and use Smithfield as an example, as a, the epitome of everything that's wrong with animal agriculture. Torturing animals, exploiting workers in egregious ways, leaving manure lagoons that pollute the environment, the local air and water for rural residents. Everything that this industry does needs to be exposed, and this trial is hopefully an opportunity to do that. And we ask you to help us in this fight. We need you to share this live stream right now today. As I said, we're on our way to Safeway, and the activists who are here have taken part in training because there are a lot of different things that every single one of us can do every day to help fight animal abuse. We have to learn how to speak up with nonviolent action. So today we had trainings in different areas and activists are putting those trainings right now into good action to bring information to the people. Do you want to turn it around and, and show people from that way too? Just like click this button. And then you can show the march too. All right. Here we have some of our street marshals wearing their protective vests. That's so important to keep everybody safe. As we're tra uh, going past traffic, we want to make sure that motorists are safe and that the activists are safe. And here we have activists carrying their signs and chanting. We have other activists who are doing drumming so that they can get rid of the chants that we are performing.
sorry. <laughs> I don't even know how you made it flip like that. But <laughs> acrobatics over here. If it just flipped upside down completely, it is back to normal. You know, something that Cassie just said reminded me that recently we were out at another facility. Um, Thanks. Uh, so recently we were out at another facility and we were able to watch some footage from uh, a little documentary called Unseen by Raven Deerbrook. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. Again, it's with dxe.io slash unseen. Yep. And there was some footage of a baby pig who had just been born, a little tiny piglet. This far out, if born, anybody's coming, we might as well let him come. And we can just jump that out pig right. was born into, a, like you said, a living hell. They didn't know what was going on. They were shivering, nose pressed up against the cold okay, wall. They couldn't even get any affection from their mother because these places are still using antiquated systems that separate the mother from being able to give love to their baby. And we have to speak out against this. So if you can go online and go to dxc.io slash which one? I don't know. Well, if you want to join us in Utah for the trial, then yeah. it's dxc.io slash Utah sign up. Utah sign up. No spaces or anything in between that. And that's a, a registration form to register for free for the Utah Convergence that DXC is organizing around these trial dates for Wayne and Paul. Wrong direction. There we go. Can you see everybody behind us? That's why I wanted to show you guys. Yeah. Everybody's Great still behind over. us. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we want to train you to be the best activist you can be too for whatever that means. If you want to do investigations, if you want to do live streams, if you want to be learning how to chant in line with the drum beat. So we had a, a meetup just now. We have our Saturday morning meetup every Saturday at 11 in Berkeley. And right after that, we had trainings that taught people all those different protest rules. And now we're putting them into practice with our training and our protest here at Safeway. Right. Um, there are a lot of people out having a beautiful Saturday. You might be able to see lots of people out here enjoying this beautiful Saturday, but we need to also be out here to let these people know what's going on. People have no idea oftentimes what what is going on on uh, farms all over the United States and all over the world, and the brave people, activists who go in and expose these places need to be able to do so without fear of, of retribution by the companies. Yeah, so there are dozens of activists behind us. Yeah, let's go for it. You can see they're all taking part, and you too can help with this. And if there's any skills that you want to learn that you all appreciate training about, then comment and let us know what things you would want to learn, what ways you'd like to get involved, because we are considering doing this protest rules training again in a couple months, and always want feedback about what training Coming to your first protest, if you haven't been to a protest before, if something is uh, holding you back or if there's information that you want to know more about before you come to a protest, let us know because we really need more people taking action. And online action is great, but there's something really powerful for the people who see us and for us ourselves when we take action in person together. Just like we're going to do in Utah, being there with a couple hundred people, we can really turn the tables and shift the atmosphere from one that just normalizes animal abuse to one that questions it, to one that normalizes and dreams of a world where animal rescue is the new normal. And we can make that happen when we when we come together in numbers. Just like we're gonna do in Safeway today. I mean we're gonna be the largest group in this Safeway. So anyone who's shopping alone or just in a pair is gonna see dozens of people come in to speak up for animals, to talk about the horrors that we have exposed at Smithfield, and they're gonna be impacted by seeing those numbers. Yeah, I oftentimes, before I was part of this wonderful organization, I wondered what it was that I could do to help. You know, what can I do? So if you're on this live stream, please go ahead and share it, uh, engage, comment. We'd love to hear your thoughts on what's going on. We've got a little. We can talk to some people okay. too if you want. You want to turn it around? You know, big factory farms and that sort of situation. Oh, right. Which is actually a plant of Do you have any thoughts about the protest that's going on? I Do you think it's great thoughts? that people are protesting for the right to rescue animals. That's wonderful. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's great. We really appreciate that. Have you rescued any animals? Oh, all my dogs are rescued. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. And I always have two of the dogs. Our brother and cats. Oh, the cats who were brothers that we rescued. That's fantastic. I have a couple of bunnies that we rescued from slaughter. Yeah. And our friends rescued piglets from right. one of the biggest factory farms in the country. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, it's disgusting. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you. Well, if you want to sign the petition, it's at righttorescue.com. That's all you need to okay. know, righttorescue.com. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much. Thank you, guys. Right. Take care. Well, now we got to get caught up, though. All right, well, that back. was wonderful getting to actually engage with the public like that, hearing, you know, when you actually sit down and talk to your average person, most people just don't know what's going on. And when you let them know what's going on, the average person is disgusted. It's not food, it's violence. So why are we at Smithfield? You might be asking, why are we even here? You know, why aren't we at some other location? Well, Smithfield is just one more grocery store. That... <laughs> oh, they're jumping ahead. <laughs> You're getting to why. So, yeah. Why are we at Safeway? Safeway is just one more grocery store that carries Smithfield products. And so we want to make sure that all the customers are informed about what it is that they're being sold at this location. So here we go inside. Heading into the Safeway right now. All these activists. Sorry about that. We just want to make sure that we're heading in so that the activists can speak up for the animals at this location. Here we are walking down the aisles at Safeway. Thank you for joining this live stream. We have just gone into Safeway, where we're heading down the aisles, getting ready to give a speak out against Smithfield Foods.
people don't have to think about what happened to them. But instead, because they were rescued, they got to live a beautiful life. They lived a beautiful life at a sanctuary and they are still free today. So regardless of what you eat every day, I think everybody here agrees that going to prison for rescuing animals is wrong. And in less than two months, we will all be going to Utah. We will be going to Utah to defend the right to rescue and defend our friends, Wayne and Paul, and speak up for Lily and Lizzie the pigs and every other pig who we couldn't save, who ended up like this, a product for Smithfield to make billions of dollars off of. So if you support us, if you support the Right to Rescue, go to righttorescue.com and learn more and express your outrage at the repression of whistleblowers and of the exploitation of animals. Because it's not food, it's violence! It's not food, it's violence! It's violence! Powerful speak out by our letting people know who are shopping in this store who, who it is that they're buying, and the fact that this giant corporation is telling everybody into thinking that, that they're a loving, transparent farm when in fact they're hiding the animal cruelty that occurs there. Wayne and Paul were able to bring that cruelty to light, and the company doesn't like that, so they are prosecuting them. So if anybody who's here can share this with us, we would really appreciate it. Again, we're making sure that the people who are inside this safe room hear us. They hear what's going on. We have animals do not want to die. Thank you guys for being here. That was just a tiny disruption that we were animals able to do, do not today. Want to die. It's really important that we're speaking up for these animals. Animals do not want to die. Just like us. Just like us. Just like us. Just like us. So thank you everybody for just like us! Share this live stream. That helps immensely. Just like us! To go inside the Safeway and let the people who are shopping in there know why we're there.
happening in Utah at the time of the trial. Let's take a look at these activists. That puppy I saw had these deep brown eyes, floppy little ears, and kind of sat there longingly, probably with a waggy, waggly little tail. I wanted so deeply that day to adopt that little, that little puppy that I saw. I wanted so badly to take him home and give him all the love that he deserved. I couldn't do that that day. And in fact, it wasn't an adoption center or a pet store. It was quite the opposite. It was filthy and dirty. It smelled of feces and urine that filled the air and choked me when I walked in. It wasn't a pet store. In fact, it was a factory farm. There were dead bodies laying on the floor, bleeding. There were more puppies struggling to get to their mother to get some milk. There were some more puppies breathing their last breath as they struggled on the floor to get up. Disease and rot were rampant. And in fact, as you may have guessed, the folks that I met that day, they weren't puppies. They were pigs. And they were pigs in a Smithfield factory farm. Safeway here thinks it's okay to use Smithfield as a supplier thinking somehow the puppy I fell in love with that day was any different than the pigs that we see all the time. They have the same longing to be loved. They have the same longing to be free. My friends are facing charges in another Smithfield farm for succeeding where I failed, for taking two of those piglets out. I'm here to tell the story of the little puppy that I couldn't save and to tell the story of the two little puppies that were saved by my friends Wayne and Paul who now face charges, who face jail time for saving puppies. This is a grave injustice and I'm here to speak about that injustice. And if you want to support saving puppies, saving piglets, then go to righttorescue.com and show how we can, we can support people who just want to save little puppies. Thank you. Hi. into the eyes the of these the beautiful here. animals. If you've ever taken a minute yeah, to spend time with a cow right. or chicken right. or a goat, you had your moment. Oh. 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 We have another speak out. I think they're just someone who... Yeah. So these are all different things that you can do to help 
be part of a protest that we're doing if you've ever thought, well, I don't know, I want to go, but I'm afraid because I, I don't know what I could do. Even if you've got one long... struggle, one fight. Human freedom, animal rights. One struggle, one fight. Even if you don't take on freedom, animal rights. Don't buy the human life. Don't buy the human life. Animals do not want to die. Don't buy Smithfield's life. rescuing baby pigs and baby dogs in just two different states and two different facilities that were going to torture and slaughter them.
Helping us, you can do a lot from right where you are, sharing the live, uh, keeping track of what Direct Action Everywhere is doing. Us help us keep our friends Paul and Wayne uh, in the news, and make sure that we keep Smithfield the pressure on Smithfield regarding this trial. I hope I see some of you in Utah, if not online. Totally. Thank you, everybody. Have a good rest of your weekend.